Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about formatted prints or how to generate formatted output. And um, the basic idea is how to show output to your users, especially when you are creating console applications or command line applications as we have been doing up until this point. So let me clean what is not useful and then we can start. Okay, so Rust as a programming language provides several ways of generating formatted output. The simplest form is to use the print, the print ln macro, and macros always have this shebang, or the bank, sorry, at the end of them. And so I can just say um, this, this is a line, okay? And then don't forget your semicolon. Now let's come here and do cargo run. And you can see that it prints this is aligned to the output of our terminal okay we can also do um, we can do print without the ln and I'll explain to you what the difference is so we have the print and then you can just do um, this is another line don't forget your semicolon let's come here into cargo run and you can see that we have this is a line this is another line spots the difference you can see that when you use print ln the the terminal is going to have a new line inserted at the point where the last character is printed if you use print no new line is entered let me actually move things around so that you can see what I mean properly. So I'm using the print statement before the print ln statement, okay? And I'm going to do this, cargo run, and you can see that it says this is another line, this is a line. Meanwhile, the this is another line finishes off and that this is a line follows right from there because no new line is inserted. So to have the new line inserted, you can just do the print ln instead of the print that's about the differences between them and so we have this is another line and this is a line so that's the difference between the print ln and the print um, macros okay we also have the ePrint macro and what the ePrint macro does is um, it is the same as the print macros just that this time around it prints to your standard error stream these are things that we talk about into details when we are dealing with io but when you use the print it prints to something that is known as your io.std out this is your standard output stream and if you use ePrint, it prints to your std error your standard um, error stream okay so that's the difference for this command line interfaces if you use ePrint. And print you might not see too much um, difference so let's come here and I'm going to do e print ln and um, I'm going to leave print ln here and then let's run it so you can see that um, you're not actually seeing any difference between how they, they um, perform but remember that one print to the standard error stream and one print to the standard output stream so the e here is the error so e print ln and then we also have just the e print which works basically the same way as the print ln of uh, the print macro that you know about okay now let's talk about um, interpolation or variable substitution we've not spoken about how to declare variables yet but i'm going to make an example so i'm going to say let um, age is equal to let's say 78 okay if i want to use this age in a print statement what i can do is i'll do um, print ln so you call the macro and then you provide your your test okay and then we can include placeholders in the test and later supply the values that should be substituted in place of the placeholder so i'll say his age is and then I'm going to open and close braces here and when I after that you have to supply the value to be used in place of that so when I do this what I'm basically doing is that I want to print his age is and then whatever value is in the age variable has to be substituted in this place so 
let's do that and then I can do cargo run and now you can see that his age is 78 is printed nicely this is not just what you can do there are several other things you can do for example you can specify some flags that is going to change how the the substitution is done for example if i do colon b what i'm basically saying is that it should print whatever value is in h as a binary so let's come in here and i'm going to do cargo run and you can see that instead of writing 78 as a decimal or a base 10 number it has written it as a base 2 number we can also do um, x for hexadecimal so let's change this to 255 and so we expect to see ff okay so let's run again and you can see that his age is ff because 255 in hexadecimal is ff in a similar way we can also use o when we want to print things out in octal so let's do this and you can see that 255 is 377 in base 8 so this is one way of doing it um let's let, let's declare another variable of a different data type and we'll see some more things that we can do so let's say um, i'm going to change this to salary and i'm going to say your salary is um, this at the end of every day and um, i want to print salary to some decimal places okay what i can do is you do colon and then dot let's say two so what it means is that I want to substitute salary in place of the placeholder that is here, but I want it to be formatted such that it will have just two decimal places. So let's come here, let me clear screen and let's run it. And you can see that it print his age is 255.88. And the reason is because it has rounded off the 0.879 to 0.88. So this is another way of doing it. There are um other options out there, you can also use uh, keys as placeholders and provide them. We can also use indexes as placeholders and provide the values later. So let's let's create um, some more data to use in print statement. So let's say we have um, let name is equal to, and I'm going to have AMA, and um, I'm going to say let title equals um, economist economist and um, I'm going to say um, let salary is equal to let's say this okay and I want to use all these in a print statement what I want to do is I want to print AMA is an economist and AMA ends whatever is in salary a month so this is one way I can do it. I can just say, let's put a placeholder where AMA will be substituted and I'll say AMA is an, and then I'm also going to bring in where economics will be substituted. And I can say um, AMA, okay, let, let's just say, I can say she earns salary monthly. Okay, so what I do here is first of all, I need to provide what needs to be substituted in place of these placeholders. And the good thing is that Rust as a programming language or the Rust compiler checks to ensure that the data type you are substituting in there are valid before it even compiles. So if it is wrong, it will not compile in the first place. So I'm going to say name because I want name to be substituted for the first item here. And look at the error I'm getting. It's saying three positional argument in format string, but there is one argument. So it has seen that I have three placeholders in my format string, but I have only provided one value to be substituted. And so I will provide title and I'll provide salary. And for the salary, I want to print it to two decimal places like we did before. And so I'm going to come here and I'm going to run. And you can see Ama is an economist. She earns 5690.67 monthly. And this is how you achieve it. Another way we could have done this is to um, let me let me reduce font size a bit. Okay. So another way we could achieve that is to use names 
okay so that in the substitution we also specify a name for what should be substituted so I can come here and say name and I can say title and um, for this for now I'm not going to do the decimal places thing so I'll just say salary and when I come here I have to make sure I say name is equal to name and title is equal to title and salary is equal to salary so when we do it this way we get a flexibility of not having to specify the values to be used in the placeholders in order for example i said name is an and then i put title and she ends salary here because i am using this um, key value pairs i don't need to the order of the values to be substituted doesn't really matter so i can come here and provide name even at the end and it's still going to work so let's run this and you can see that ama is an economist she earns blah 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 monthly so this is one cool way of doing it okay what if i wanted to say ama is an um ama is an economist and i also want to say ama earns blah 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 at the end of the month there are several ways i can use numbers as indices so i say zero is an economist and then here instead of she i can say zero ends then i'll say two monthly so what i basically have to do is put in the values to be substituted according to the indices that i have used in the format string okay so zero goes for name and uh, my one is the title and um, i also have my salary as two so in this way you can see that i'm using the placeholder for zero twice and i'm just supplying the value only once this is another cool thing that you can do with it so let's come here um and you can see that ama is an economist ama earns five six blah 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 monthly so this is another way of doing it now the last format thing we want to talk about is called format is a macro called format and the difference between the format and the prints ln and the eprint is that the format macro instead of printing to the screen generates a formatted string which you can store and use the print to print it out okay so um let's say for this same thing i wanted to store the message so i'll say let msg is equal to instead of print ln everything that you know about the print ln also works for the format macro and what makes it a macro is the fact that it has the bang at the end of it always remember you have to include it so now it says let message is equal to format blah 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 so what is happening here is that it is doing exactly what the print statement would have done except it is not printing it out instead it is returning the output as a string which I am storing in MSG so now I can go ahead and use the print the print ln macro to print a message so I can just come here and um, I'll use a placeholder and I'll do MSG here just like this and don't forget your semicolon here let's come back to recompile it and run it and you can see that ama is an common economist and ama ends blah 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 monthly so this is basically um a few of what is possible when it comes to formatted output i'm sure in the subsequent videos i'll be introducing new ways of achieving different types of formatted output thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video